I'm challenging myself to stop idealizing relationships and find out what really makes love healthy. When we think about relationships, we often have this idea of what they're supposed to be like, this perfect picture of romance and love. We've all been there, scrolling through social media, seeing these seemingly flawless couples, and thinking, that's what I want. But the truth is, idealizing relationships can have some severe consequences for our love lives. When we idealize relationships, we set ourselves up for disappointment. We start to believe that our partner should be this perfect, ideal person, and when they fall short, we're left feeling frustrated and unfulfilled. We start to wonder if we're just not good enough or if our partner is the problem. However, the reality is that no one is perfect and our relationships will never be the idealized version we see on social media. Letting go of these unrealistic expectations can be a liberating experience, allowing us to embrace the imperfections and complexities of real love. Up in there too we put so much pressure on our partners to meet these unrealistic expectations, and it's unfair to both of us. We're not giving ourselves or our partners the room to be human, to make mistakes, and to grow together. We're stuck in this cycle of disappointment and heartache, all because we're chasing this unattainable ideal. We need to take a step back and realize that relationships are hard work. They take effort, communication, and compromise. They're not always easy, and they're not always romantic. But that's what makes them real, and that's what makes them worth fighting for. Our society contributes to this idealization of relationships, with movies and TV shows portraying perfect, fairy tale romances. We're fed this idea that love should be this sweeping, all consuming emotion that completes us, and that's just not realistic. Real love is messy, complicated, and imperfect. But it's also beautiful, and it's worth fighting for. The media also perpetuates the myth that relationships should be a constant source of excitement and passion. We're led to believe that if we're not feeling that butterflies in the stomach feeling all the time, then something's wrong. But the reality is that relationships evolve, and excitement will naturally wax and wane over time. It's not a sign of a problem, it's just a sign of growth and maturity. Embracing this evolution can bring a sense of hope and joy to our relationships. We also need to recognize that relationships are not a destination, they're a journey. We won't magically arrive at this perfect, idealized relationship and then just coast from there. Relationships take work and commitment. We need to be willing to put in the effort, communicate, compromise, and grow together. So, what's the key to healthy love lives? It's not about idealizing relationships, it's about accepting them for what they are, imperfect, messy, and beautiful. It's about communicating with our partners, listening to them, and being willing to grow and adapt together. It's about choosing to embrace the reality of relationships rather than feeling pressured to chase some unattainable ideal. This choice empowers us to build strong, healthy relationships based on realistic expectations. In conclusion, let's stop idealizing relationships and start embracing the beauty of real love. Let's focus on building strong, healthy relationships based on communication, acceptance, and realistic expectations. Let's stop chasing that perfect ideal and start fighting for the love that's right in front of us. Thanks for reading, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. What are your experiences with idealizing relationships? If you're looking for more content on building healthy relationships, check out my video on, video title.